Well, I made it back again in one piece. Slammed out my Comatech on the way back. Like I said, it's pretty rough riding out there. And I lost my shovel. Damn it. So I made it as far as I can by snowmobile. Now the rest is by foot. I'm gonna really try to bring my chainsaw out to my winter camp today. It's not gonna be easy. I have a backpack, chaps, my bag full of uh, deer parts for my bait station, and my chainsaw. I know my way out to winter camp like the back of my hand, but today, with these whiteout conditions, I seriously got lost three times. Got disoriented and it took me a while to, to figure out where I was. I made it out to camp. I tell you, it wasn't easy. Pretty steep hills around here. It's not like I'm just walking on level ground. It's minus 29 wind chill when I got up this morning. So I'm hoping this chainsaw will actually start. I was lucky my snowmobile even started this morning. Ken, use the force. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering.
Well, that's it for gas. Got a nice big mess of firewood here now. Cut up my whole wood pile, except for this one piece here. And I got a whole bunch of uh, poplar over there for an outside fire, but that's not a big deal. The only question is now, do I keep my chainsaw out here and just keep bringing fuel? The only problem with that is I, I don't have anything for clearing trail now if I keep this out here. I decided to stack everything I bucked just to see how much is there. It's nice to see a big pile of wood like that. It's got the fire going. I'm gonna let it heat up in here for a little bit. Just freezing. After I warm up, I'm gonna go out and split up some firewood. This is my current supply right now. And there's my bag of birch bark I collect. It goes fast. You know, I'm constantly uh, replenishing it. Just makes uh, lighting the fire so much easier and quicker. Have my olive oil defrosting. It is frozen solid. I got my stove blazing. The shelter's all sealed up. So when I go back in, it's going to be so nice and warm. Cold one today. Look at my gloves. Hard as a rock. Feels like it's starting to warm up. Mind you, I'm in the trees, of course. My snowmobile's right out in the open. You know, minus 29 wind chill. And while my food is cooking, I packed up my chainsaw and chaps. I know what you guys are thinking. Leave the chainsaw out here. But, you know, I need it for clearing trail. If I'm on my way home and there's a fallen tree in my way, an axe is going to take way too long. Tough one today. Oh, it tastes so good. Pure water. Just cleaning out my cast iron pot from my last visit. That pea soup made quite a mess in there. Just uh, been boiling some water in there to clean it out. Brought out a roll of paper towel on my last visit. And then put some oil in it to re-season it. I'm having a very quick and simple lunch. Pan fried steak and mushrooms. That was a very good meal. I always save some for my squirrel friends or crows. And that hammock right over there is calling my name. I gotta lay down for a while, have a nap. My cast iron cookware is all cleaned and reseasoned, ready for next time. Just letting it cool off before I hang it back up. Well, I had quite the exhausting day. Even the snowmobile ride out here was pretty rough. All night last night, we had 70 kilometer hour winds, blowing snow. I think the worst part was dragging my chainsaw and chaps down here. And my day is far from over. 
I got to bring them all the way back to my snowmobile. And on my way back, I have to check in my trail cam. Well, this is a brutal hike back. Thought it was bad before. One step at a time, that's all I can do. Oh, I'm beat. Even with my new tarp cover, still getting lots of snow in my Comatec, which adds lots of extra weight. And when I was coming back, that little shortcut I made yesterday, well, someone filled in.